This is December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Let's see, what do we have here? 15 degrees? Yeah. Let me get it there where we can see it. There we go. 15 degrees. Beginning mileage. 43149.0. 4149.0 Well, how's everybody doing this fine December 7th? Nice and frosty day. I hope everybody's doing great. Just like to say it feels good to be on the uh, winning team. We've already won two categories. Um totally shut down the door and any other team beating us. We were the first team, Team Viking. Myself and Muzzle Mike, obviously, Mike the Vike. We won first up as a team, first two videos posted, and we won first qualification. We're both qualified polar bears as a team, so totally shut the door on that one. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, I guess all you can do now is you can just, uh, if you, if you want to take the time, you can just make a nice uh, video congratulating us. And maybe even for just taking the whole thing. I mean, the other ones are kind of getting slow out of the gates there. I see I see the Buckeye boys aren't, boys aren't even the Buckeye boys anymore. They changed to Team Ohio. They're, uh, I hear tell they're going door to door trying to gather up uh, more members. Trying to get maybe, probably to be fair, I would say they probably need about four to five extra bodies on their team. And then maybe uh, they could get me and Mike a little bit concerned about it that we might not be able to just totally blow them out of the water in every category. I mean, the miles so far, I mean, with Keith, he's kind of putting them on there slowly one at a time. That's not much to be concerned about. So I don't know really what's going on with them. But anyway, maybe they can get some extra bodies there to help them out. Wow, I'm really liking this sun out today, man. It just when the sun's out, it makes the temperature feel so much warmer. In fact, what I did today is I actually talked to Mike and I told him to slow down a little bit on the rides and let me carry it for a while. Because if we just uh, rack up a huge amount of rides, what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to leave the other team members so far behind we might end up discouraging them and they won't even uh, they won't even want to participate anymore and we don't want to do that even if it's kind of a, a foregone conclusion that you know we're gonna win most all the categories if not all of them we still want to give people a little bit of hope I mean even if it ends up uh, you know by sometime in January we've dashed all hopes of anybody catching up to us we want to still at least make it look like they have some kind of hope so uh, I would encourage you at least in the case of Keith and John um, watch their videos and comment and uh, give them some encouragement because yeah when you're uh, pulling in last place there as a team and I say that because I heard a rumor now this is not for certain but I just heard a rumor I keep my ears to the ground sometimes listen to what's going on in the back rooms of various places and I heard this rumor that there's going to be a team coming online called the unholy alliance and it's going to be two people you don't even expect who they're going to be now I can't even say for certain I've heard various names and stuff like that but I hear when this team comes together it's going to be a total shock to everybody that you would probably consider them to be the least two people that would ever actually come together and form a team for the polar bear challenge so just stay tuned and I, I got a feeling that within the next day or two the announcements gonna come out but I just want to give you guys a little bit of heads up on it because as you know if something's going on in the polar bear challenge I'm usually in the thick of it, or 
at least know a little bit what's going on. Well, I can see my speedometer froze up again, just like it did last year, so, oh well. Zero points on this ride. Maybe next time I'll try sticking a heat lamp on it or something like that. Seems to be the mechanism inside the speedometer is what's freezing up and not the cable itself. So maybe if I just put a heat lamp on that and put another heat lamp on the engine. But that's okay. We're out, of, we're out far enough ahead that it, it's not a big deal. Oh well. Just one of those things you got to deal with with cold weather. Well, not that it matters since this is going to be a zero miles ride because no working speedometer froze up. 4314940. 4314.0. So we'll see if we can put the heat lamp on and get it working next time.